All right, Steve, thanks very much. And welcome back to the Marcus Majestic Cinema in Waukesha, where we are highlighting Hispanic Heritage Month. The theater chain is the fourth largest in the country and is really making a statement by featuring films in Spanish and English with Spanish subtitles. The Cine Latino Film Festival is also returning to Marcus Theater starting October 5th. And so joining me live to talk more about the event is retiring chairman, president, and CEO of Marcus Theaters, Rolando Rodriguez. And Rolando, appreciate your time. Congratulations. You were telling me your last day actually in the office on a day-to-day -day basis is Friday. That's correct. That's right. Thank you, Susan. Yes. I appreciate that. But it's been an exciting and fun experience here in Milwaukee, and it'll continue. I'm still going to be involved with the company. Company. well beyond that but it's been a wonderful wonderful experience yeah you're staying on as a senior advisor and you are very vocal about the importance of learning about the Hispanic heritage the Cine Latino Film Festival is your baby why is that so important to you why has that been so important to you in your career look obviously being Hispanic myself and born in Cuba is very important to share that culture and experience and when you think about here in Milwaukee and in Wisconsin, we happen to be the fastest growing population base, ethnic population base, and in fact, the net effect of the population in Wisconsin would be a decline if Hispanics weren't around. Uh, so it's important to drive through art, the art form, how can we help the community both in the healthcare, in the workforce development, in education. So for me, it's a passion about the art form and sharing this with the entire community. This is not just about Hispanics, this is about African Americans, Asians, uh, Caucasians, all learning a little bit more about the Hispanic community. So let's talk about some of your favorites that you're looking forward to with the Cine Latino Film Festival. Uh, you're, you mentioned you're from Cuba, and there is a movie that's coming out that's really important. It's based in Cuba. Well, it's based, it's the last out, and you have to come see it because, frankly, it talks about baseball players and what they have to go through, baseball players from Cuba, how they would go through Costa Rica to, in essence, ideally make it to the Major League Baseball. And uh, it's a wonderful story, really worth seeing, uh, and it's a really, very, very uh, unique. And another film you were saying that you're looking forward to is Selena, the tragic story of the Tejano singer. Uh, a classic film, but a uh, special guest coming for the film festival. Exactly. We actually have almost this going to be here. And of course, this was uh, Jennifer Lopez, her, you know, debut uh, projection. But by the way, it's a classic with the Hispanic community. It's a classic with everybody. And you must see movie, must see movie. That's terrific. Father of the Bride. People may have heard of that film, but this film has a twist to it. It does. Us. This is the Hispanic version, by the way, and, by, and Andy Garcia, who, by the way, happens to be Cuban as well, happens to be the father of the bride in this movie. And by the way, it's a wonderful film if you haven't had a chance to see it yet. What do you uh, think needs to happen in the movie industry? As you're stepping away from the day to day, but you're still going to be very involved in the national organizations that uh, where film is important. Where do you see the movie industry going or what needs to happen? Well, what needs to happen, there was a report from a think tank out in California that just came out and it pointed out that we're 19 percent of the population, 62 million people in the United States, only 4 percent representation in the artistic community in Hollywood. That needs to change. I think that when uh, no different than Black Panther made a dynamic change within the African-American community, we need that stepping stone for the Hispanic community to really build. Rolando Rodriguez, retired soon on Friday. <laughs> Congratulations and thank, thank you for your thank time Thank you today. so much and thank you for, uh, you know, pointing out this wonderful film festival. Don't forget, by the way, next Wednesday is the VIP night here at the Majestic of Brookfield. I look forward to seeing everybody here. <laughs> All right, thank you. For more information about the Cine Latino Film Festival, our web team has actually put all the information in one place for you. All you have to do is scan this QR code that you see on your screen to be taken to our website, tmj4.com. We'll be back right after this.